So if you are starting up your computer or your Counter-Strike and you see this message, then I highly recommend you to check whether your graphics card and your monitor are connected via HDMI or via DisplayPort. If you're using HDMI, HDMI does not support some of the advanced NVIDIA features that come with the newer graphics cards. So you will have to do without a lot of those things like G-Sync, V-Sync, uh, NVIDIA Reflex, etc. Those are available only in when you're using the DisplayPort as DisplayPort is open source and hence NVIDIA can use new protocols, develop new protocols and use them in their products. So if your monitor and your graphics card is capable of, for instance, running G-Sync, but you are connecting the graphics card with the monitor via an HDMI cable that is not capable of doing that, you lose. So I highly recommend you to do use a DisplayPort cable if you were spending, let's say, 1,000, 1,500 bucks on a gaming rig or even more. Do the experiment, compare the performance of your system with DisplayPort to the performance with the, of your system when you're using HDMI ca cable. You will see that the DisplayPort cable has much more stable performance. I saw stutters, I saw black screens, um, and generally poor performance that I blamed on the graphics card or on the monitor, all of which was not the case. The source of the problem has been using HDMI instead of DisplayPort cables. So what's the difference between HDMI and DisplayPort? HDMI is closed source, uh, whereas DisplayPort is open source, meaning that, for instance, NVIDIA can and also did in the past develop some very um, dedicated or gamer dedicated protocols and functionalities that HDMI does not support because NVIDIA is, for instance, not part of this consortium that uh, maintains the HDMI standard. Whereas DisplayPort, since it's open source, can provide you all those functionalities. I figured that, for instance, if I have vSync activated, my ref uh, frame rate is limited to 60 frames per second. Whereas if I'm using a DisplayPort cable, I do not have this limit of 60 FPS. So Write me in the comments whether that's the same for you, but I did not, since I'm using the display ca um, port cable, see any 60 FPS uh, restrictions, because of obviously 60 FPS is super low. The bandwidth is 43 gigabits per second for the HDMI 2.1, I believe, and for the current version that we have at the moment is 77 uh, gigabits per second, and it's also compatible with USB and VGA and it supports a 16K resolution up to 60 Hertz, whereas the HDMI at the moment only supports 8K resolution up to 60 Hertz. So you see there is quite a huge difference between those two cables here. You can see the difference. You can easily check which uh, cable you're at currently using. Uh, this is how the standard HDMI cable is looking like, and this is how a DisplayPort cable is looking like. And like I said, I highly recommend you using the DisplayPort cable. Yeah. Since I changed from my HDMI to DisplayPort, I did not see any more blackouts. I did not have black screens, stutters. So this is something you should really consider. We're not talking about one cable equals the other cable. No, it's not like that. The DisplayPort cable is at the moment the most sophisticated, the best cable, and it has the highest stutter transmission rate. And it also allows for this special applications that you see here, for instance, Counter-Strike 2, where you can improve the performance of the game quite a lot by using those special NVIDIA features. So don't, don't save on the cable. Use a DisplayPort cable. Tell me what you learned. Tell me whether it helped you out, this tip, and tell me if, you, if it solved some problems of yours. I'm quite sure my performance, the performance of my computer was getting much better or the gaming performance was getting much better uh, after I just switched, um, changed all the cable that was 20 euro 
apart. And like I said, those 20 euros are definitely worth it. Sell a cheap um, weapon skin in Counter-Strike 2, grab the money and, and uh, just go for a display port cable and swap the display port cable um, in and remove the HDMI cable because the HDMI cable is frankly not the way to go if you want to do competitive um, uh, gaming or any gaming at all if you if you ask me okay and with that i will not bother you further if it helped you out then smack that like button and if you have further questions write me a comment okay see you then bye bye